Hello, Internet. My name is Ayla Teslermave, and today I wanted to create a 10 minute practice routine that you can do with me. It's a practice routine that I think is a great way to warm up your fingers and learn some new skills if you haven't encountered these before. And you'll be able to play along with me and hopefully come back to this video as many times as needed. So the best part of this is you don't really need to think. You just pick up your guitar, follow along. And before we start, I just wanted to show you two or three things that I think would be good to know before we start, just in case uh, you have a little bit of difficulty figuring them out on the spot as we go along. The first is we're going to be looking at a 12 bar blues progression using open chords A, D, and E. And eventually these are going to evolve to become A7, D7, and E7. I also want to show you a scale that we're going to be encountering, which is the minor pentatonic scale. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. And we're gonna move that scale around a little bit. We might add a few notes to it. All right, so let's move on to our practice. Let's go. Let's begin the practice routine. We're gonna start with some open chords playing a 12 bar blues, starting with an A major, so you can get your fingers in position for that. And I'm gonna count you in. One, two, three, four. Holding this for one bar, or in other words, four counts. Two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. All right, now we're moving to a D major chord. Holding that for two bars. Now let's move back to A major. All right, get ready for E major for one bar, D major for one bar. Now back to A major, two more bars before the progression restarts. And we're restarting right here. And now, get ready, we're moving to a D major right now. Now, back to A major. And if this strumming pattern is feeling comfortable for you, you could even try adding some quarter notes. Or just keep it at whole notes. But now, we're gonna change the chords and make them bluesier. We're playing A7 now. It's hard to play and talk at the same time. But now we're moving to D7. It's like an inverted D major chord. Now we're moving back to A7. Get ready for E7. You could even move a little earlier to get to chord changes that are difficult, just to make sure you get there on time. Because getting there on time is super important. And the progression's restarting right now. You can play some quarter notes. Or, like I said, just keep it at whole notes. Now we're at D7. Let's bring it back to A7. Now the hardest chord change, probably, for most people is E7. Coming up now. Nice. Now move to D7. Back to A7. And now we're going to change the strumming pattern to swing it. Like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And now we're moving to D7. And just notice that I'm strumming down and then up. And this is a good feel to get down as a player, because you'll probably encounter it at some point in your playing. Now the progression is restarting right now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now move to D7.
back to A7. All right, one more time. Let's get to that E7 chord. D7. And now we're gonna play the minor pentatonic scale. So we're gonna hop on up to the fifth fret. Eighth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, eighth fret, fifth fret, eighth fret. Now we're coming back down. We're gonna play that one more time when we get to the bottom. All right, let's play that again. Now, when we get to the bottom, we're gonna take this exact same scale shape and move it down three frets. So keep in mind again, this is the A minor pentatonic scale. Great one to know as a guitar player or just any musician. Now it's time to move down three frets. We're playing F sharp minor pentatonic. But as it turns out, that's actually the same thing as A major pentatonic. And the reason I think it's great to practice both of these is if you ever want to solo over the chord progression that we were looking at earlier in this video, these are exactly the scales you'd want to be using. And now we're going to hop right on back up to A minor pentatonic, but we're going to add an extra note to the scale. Sharp four, a blues note. Now let's come back down the scale. And we're going to do it one more time when we get to the bottom. Restarting now. And again, anytime you're playing minor pentatonic, you can add this bluesy note to it if you want that flavor. At the very least, this is a great finger exercise to build dexterity. Now we're going to do this exact same thing down three frets. All right, here we are, down three frets. This is a cool way to turn major pentatonic to some sort of major minor pentatonic hybrid scale. Totally normal for your fingers to be feeling a little sore at this point. Hang in there and do your best. And once we get to the bottom, I'm gonna do it again. And when we get to the bottom, we're going to do a little bit more of a dexterity exercise where you're going to use all four of your fingers just to play four frets per string. Starting now up at the fifth fret. And 
and this is really helping to warm up that middle finger in particular because we haven't used it quite as much yet. And this is a good exercise to see if you can keep your fingers as close to the string as possible. I think this is an exercise I really need to do. I need to work on this. I have a habit of pulling my fingers way further back from the frets than I need to when I'm not using them. So it's good to work on that. Come back down. When we come back down, we're gonna try to speed it up. Pinky is going up way too high. <laughs> All right, let's speed this up. Now, we're gonna do something a little tricky. We're gonna try playing triplets. Just follow along if you don't know what that means. Triplet, 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 triplet. Got a little too close to the microphone. Let's do it again. My bad. <laughs> that one's a little difficult, but congratulations on completing your workout. I hope your fingers feel a little more dexterous and you're ready to have a great day playing guitar. Thanks for tuning in.